Well, Dr. Steve Mulholland is joining us now because we are going to talk about something that is so prevalent. It's tattoos, okay? Great strides have been made in the field of tattoo removal. So when our own floor director, J.C. Chessel, decided to get rid of hers, we tracked her progress at Spa Medica. I started getting tattoos when I was 16 years old. Um, and at 16, of course, I thought I was making the best decisions for my life. 20 years later, I'm left with tattoos I neither want nor like in any way. And the fact that I can get them removed, uh, that they're not a permanent part of my life is fantastic. The tattoo on my arm is of a uh, the outline of a moon and a compass rose. On the leg, it is actually a lotus flower uh, that's on fire, which makes that no sense if you know anything about lotus flowers. <laughs> <laughs> but at the time, hey, it was, you know, the best idea I had at 16. <laughs> Tattoo removal is one of the fastest growing segments of the cosmetic uh, aesthetic market. Laser tattoo removal is the highly evolved science of removing selectively that tattoo pigment from our skin. We use a special kind of laser, the PicoSure in this case, to shatter the tattoo pigment into billions of grains of sand that our body easily removes naturally through our own immune defense systems. Well, laser tattoo removal has generally been marked by it works, but it would be once every six weeks, eight to 16 treatments, two to three years to get 75 to 80% reduction. So it was maybe like one night, a bottle of Jack Daniels and $200 to get it on, and two years and $2,000 to get it off. Now, we can uh, offer patients three to six treatments. That means in six months, um, you can have 90% reduction of this tattoo. So most patients are excited to move forward, but they have to understand there's going to be some downtime where it's going to look crusty, crusty for about a week, like you fell off your bike when you were a kid and don't pick it, just cover it. And then the scab comes off and you have new epithelium underneath and you look at it and wow, the first time it's often 20, 25, 30% reduced. Uh, and then each treatment thereafter is between 10 and 15% reduced after three to six treatments, you get your final result. dramatic when you look at how much it went away. So uh, Dr. Mulholland joins us now live in studio. Great work. Just to get a sense of how prevalent this whole getting inked up is, one in five U.S. and Canadian adults between 25 and 45 have tattoos. That's 50 million people. It's pretty shocking. 50 million people for the first time in recorded history. Uh, there's more women than men, so 69% are women now. Well, it's become so mainstream. I mean, it used to be the thing that military men or soldiers did or sailors. And now it's, you know, one in five people, every fifth person walking down the street has a tattoo. So your business is going to go through the roof. Because, of yeah. course, people are going and getting tattoos and they might not be thinking about how they feel about that image, you know. 20 years later, right? Yeah, it's, it's, you're making a permanent change in your skin. Mm -hmm. um, you're generally doing it when you're younger. And uh, you think, you know, back when I was younger, we wore bell bottoms and high heels and all went away. Right. Uh, the decisions now that young people make, uh, this is a lifelong decision on your skin, usually doesn't work out. So there's a 30% regret factor within one week. Oh, within a week? Yeah, well, 30%. Yeah, don't get your boyfriend's name on, don't, no. don't do that. If you're 16, 17, 18, I don't know, even 35, don't get their name, okay, tattooed on you. Let's talk a little bit about how that laser works, because you see it working in the video. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Well, the PicoSure is a very high-tech laser. It sends uh, little bundles of energy, light energy, into the skin, bypassing the skin and shattering uh, through a photoacoustic effect, the, the, the tattoo mm -hmm. into tiny, tiny little particles your body can carry away. Yeah. The older generation of lasers didn't shatter them in quite so, maybe took the rock and, and turned into pebbles. Now we turn to grain of sand. And so in the old days, it would take a 16 treatments in two years to get 70% reduction. Now it's mm -hmm. six treatments, six months for 90% reduction, and it's really transformed what we can do. Do you think that the innovation is going to keep getting better and it'll be even quicker to get them removed? Yeah, uh, the industry is looking at different types of tattoo inks that do go away. Yes. Uh, and then the laser is only going to get better. Right. Okay, very interesting. So 
before it was really difficult to get the colors mm -hmm. so the reds and the oranges that has also come a long way hasn't it yes yeah, so now uh, the pico sure uses uh, targeted kinds of light a certain wavelength for the the reds and the oranges which were traditionally very difficult so you, you'd have a, a tattoo like a rolling stones tattoo and all that's left is the tongue well that doesn't look very good <laughs> and so now we can get rid of the reds and the oranges the blacks the greens the yellows and the blues by using different uh, Pico sure wavelengths. Okay, well, JC, our floor director, mm -hmm. actually had a lot of color uh, in her tattoo. So, JC, I got to ask you this for everyone that's thinking this at home. What hurts more? Did it hurt more getting them put on or did it hurt more getting them taken off? What do you think? Uh, definitely getting them removed hurt a lot more. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit of a baby with it. I don't know why I got tattoos. They hurt me to begin with, but uh, definitely getting it removed. <laughs> <laughs> was you, a lot worse. You know what? You're not a baby at all because <laughs> she would come into the office after her tattoo removal and we would look at it and we'd be like, oh my God, <laughs> does it hurt? Because it does, it goes to that, you know, it turns into that scab thing, but then it completely goes away, which is so incredible. I think there are a lot of people that are going to be taking you up on this. Um, what? Let's talk a bit about price. Sure. Um, well, first, with the pain, um, we always use a little bit of local anesthesia. Oh, you so, do. let's say you go into a dental office, you would never want a root canal without freezing. Right. Uh, so, you would never get your uh, big tattoo removal without a little bit of freezing. So, the freezing hurts a little bit, and then uh, JC would confirm this is painless. Once the freezing's in, there's no pain. Oh, so it's the freezing that hurts. Yeah, so you just have to put up with a little bit of freezing. We're very good at that now. And yeah. so a tattoo removal is just the pain of freezing, okay? Other than the pain of realization you did something so stupid when you were young. <laughs> uh, and then and then the uh, the next is cost. Uh, because we've gone from 16 treatments to six treatments, it's a fraction of what it used to cost. And so depending, at, let's say, the size, the average tattoo that we see is the size of the palm of your hand or smaller, uh -huh. that would cost three dollars $400 times six treatments. So it's still okay. expensive, but it's a fraction of what it used to cost. And we can usually get 90% plus removal. So, uh, you know, um, you can really remove all evidence and trace of, of, what, you, of what you had put on your skin. Completely we can also disappears. treat darker skin now. Yeah, so let's talk yeah. about this, because there used to be some uh, difficulty treating different skin colors. Mm -hmm. So black skin, if you want to get a black tattoo on black skin or a colored bl a tattoo on black skin, you can get it removed. Yeah, so Asian, Hispanic, uh, Caribbean skin, uh, we now again have different uh, Pico sure wavelengths, mm -hmm. just like hair removal. Remember, yes. we've done shows where when you had dark skin, you didn't have to be able to do hair removal before, but now we can do hair removal on light skin and dark skin. We can do tattoo removal on dark skin and light skin with different wavelengths of light. That is very cool. And it's not any more difficult? It's a little trickier on darker skin, but generally the tattoos tend to be dark on dark rather than, you know, the bright reds and yellows That's and greens. Right. So the tattoos get easier even though the skin is darker. Okay. The moral of the story? Think very carefully before you get that ink, but if you do get the boyfriend's name, just go to Dr. Mulholland, okay? Yep. He'll take or, care of it. Or make sure your relationship lasts more than six months. There you go. Right. <laughs> That's what you have to do. Uh, Steve has actually brought down a Spa Medica goodie bag for everyone in today's audience. That's awesome. I'm going to tell you what you're getting. You're going to take home a TNS Lip Plumper skincare products, a gift certificate, and a cosmetic bag. Thank you so much Thank for that, you. Steve, and thanks, JC.